Hey and welcome, I'm Hammy and today we're going to be diving into Lover Watch, it's Overwatch 2, the Overwatch series first visual novel uh, dating sim, uh, call it what you will, but we can have an adventure either with uh, Genji or with Mercy. So we're going to be doing a little Genji playthrough, there'll also be a Mercy playthrough on this channel, so yeah, let's have some fun. Remember, uh, by the way, this is non-canonical, this is non-canonical. Uh, so uh, this is a little adventure outside of the Overwatch uh, canon, outside of the Overwatch uh, laid down story uh, for this Valentine's Day. Oh. oh, my goodness. Have a look at Hanzo. Hanzo, of course, is Cupid showing us the way. And look, I may just hear my screenshot key. We got Hanzo looking very, very Hades-like, I must say. <laughs> That's a real mood. Okay, I'm just going to crank that audio down a bit. We're really cranked up there. Oh, they're having fun. I can load game. Rewards, my god. No rewards yet. You can get titles and all kinds of things. Settings, master volume. Oh, we got hearts for everything. We got a full browser game. So let's shout, shout out the devs. <laughs> uh, the entire um, narrative design team. Oh, we'll have a look at these later. Oh. They've had some Chibi's character arts. Oh, they've had a lot of fun with this. Emotes and moods. Hey, everyone's getting shoutouts. Okay, anyway. You want to get into the game. We'll get into the game. We're doing Genji first. The official but non-canon. There's real anime anime intro music vibes. The official but non-canon on Overwatch 2 dating sim. Now 100% more official. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm not ready. First, tell me what non-canon means. Oh my goodness. Tell you what. Come on then. We're glad you asked. <laughs> Basically, there are parts of the Overwatch story that are real and other parts that are hypothetical. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, like in the announcement for them, they said, no, said non-canon. <laughs> like, just to emphasize, basically, what this is for you out there, it's like, if you're going to fight about your ships, stop it. Stop it. Okay, this is the Overwatch 2 dev team telling, saying to you, stop it. This is non-canonical. <laughs> this dating sim is one of those hypothetical non-canon stories, like if Wrecking Ball and Tracer talk about how they both love cheeseburgers before a PvP match. I mean, we've been told, we, we always said that, like, uh, we were told, by the way, that the Overwatch pre-game voice lines, ever since original Overwatch for the last six years, have been non-canon, but they reflect on canon. So, you know. <laughs> they may love cheeseburgers. They've just never met officially and actually had that conversation. Yeah, true. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's consistent. Not yet. <laughs> okay, no fourth wall. Does that answer your question? <laughs> Are you saying I should just enjoy this thing and not rush off to update fan wikis with everything I read in here? <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah. We could have said it better ourselves. <laughs> Am I also portraying a non-canon version of me? <laughs> That's really up to you. This is getting a little too meta for us. And we wrote this. <laughs> Fine, let's all get started pretending you can play this dang thing. What is your name? All right, Hammy. Excellent. Let's go. Your name is Hammy. It is indeed. Continue. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Ooh, laugh attic. It's Friday night in the big city. You're gonna get a you're gonna get a hammy style um, narrator type voiceover, by the way. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. I'm 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 reading everything so I can read it well. The Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town. You love watching people bomb on an open mic. Sometimes that people is you. It's particularly dark tonight. So dark it'll make for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who is sitting at the table in the corner. Eyes adjusting. 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 Oh my. Oh my. Is that... Is that who you think it is? 
<laughs> it's Mercy! It's Genji! Why are there only two options? Why are there only two options? What if I wanted to see, just as a thoroughly random example, Junkrat? Uh, you can tell Justin Groot's been on this one. <laughs> Whoa, pace yourself there. You haven't even had your first date yet. Two options are plenty for now, and maybe we'll add more dating sim opportunities in the future. <laughs> We're not saying this is some kind of test version of a potentially more robust dating adventure. But we're also not not saying that. Okay, they're really trying to mess with us. <laughs> now. Who do you see in the corner? Okay, we're doing Genji. I, I said to it, we're going Genji first. Oh, it's Genji. Look at him. Look at that. Okay, good stuff. Ninja, cyborg, an all-around bad bad boy from Overwatch. <laughs> no matter how many times you blink, he's still there, and you're completely Starstruck, Love Struck, or Fear Struck. What are we what are we doing? I think uh, mm, I think uh, I think uh, maybe we're Starstruck. Maybe we're Love Struck. Or Fear Struck. Oh I'm scared. Uh, there are, by the way, there is a secret ending. I think there are secret end, at least one secret ending. Um, maybe a secret ending for both, depending on how your, your dates go with these people. So uh, this is going to be a normal playthrough. We don't know whether or not we're going to get the, the secret ending. Um, let's go for... Oh, we love struck. God, it's Valentine's Day. Hey! hey! Oh, love struck. There we go. <laughs> love struck. You didn't know you had a thing for cyborg ninjas. Ninjas? Sure. Cyborgs? Sure. But a cyborg ninja? That's a first for you. Your heart starts racing. You're overwhelmed with happy neurochemicals. Which are in short supply these days. Whoa! Zap! Oh! Hark! Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell the sweat on your palms? I am Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and to guide them to fulfillment. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this, or are you hallucinating? Do not worry, you are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder. He will point you in the right direction. Okay, that's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing, but maybe this hallucination can help you. Now, tell me, are you in love? <laughs> I think so. Nope, that's just my baseline anxiety. <laughs> Hold up, you're not Cupid. You're Hanzo Shimada. Oh, come on. Hold up, you're not Cupid, you're Hanzo Shimada. From the free-to-play game Overwatch 2. Which I, of course, played because I just recognised you as Hanzo Shimada. <laughs> oh, oh, I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to the character in Overwatch, rest assured I am Cupid, champion of love. However... It is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shop. Oh no. What a coincidence. <laughs> oh, good sits. I, I do like the meta dunking on the, the shop skins. Thank you, thank you, narrative team. Now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? I think so. It's kind of hard to tell. The path to love is often confusing, but fear not, I'm here to guide you through all of its intricacies. What? It means I'm going to give you advice. Oh, okay. So, do you wish to win the heart of Genji? <laughs> well, yes, I want to win the heart of Genji. Wait, there was another option, wasn't there? <laughs> uh, yes, I want to win the heart of Genji. Genji? 
truly? I mean, there are only two options, as you made sure I was aware. <laughs> of course, well, it's just that to call Genji difficult would be an understatement. <laughs> Yeesh, you're being really judgmental for a vessel of love or whatever. Is this because of the lore or something? <laughs> Oh, there's so many options. We'll have to play this through multiple times. The what? <laughs> the Overwatch lore, you know? Genji was the younger brother Hanzo killed and felt guilt over ever since. Only Genji wasn't actually dead. He was alive, but a cyborg. And Hanzo learned this, but he was still kind of upset about the whole thing, I think. <laughs> I th I'm, in this, I'm in this conversation directly, and I'm okay with it. Cupid looks troubled. <laughs> that summary heavily favours Genji's view of matters I feel. <laughs> oh. But no, I'm merely saying that reaching Genji's heart will be a difficult task. Sure, whatever you say, Mr. Grumpy Toga. <laughs> if you wish to pursue Genji, then I am obligated to help you. It is your love life. No matter how foolish. Well then, how do you think I should approach Cupid? You have to introduce yourself, of course. You cannot start down the path of romance without first speaking to him. And, given that he strikes me as a selfish, immature person, I would recommend keeping your conversations focused on him. He has always struggled with his sense of self, so do your best to appeal to his interests. Oh, oh, look at Anzo's eyes. He's going crazy. You hope he'll get over this hostility for Genji soon, definitely, but uh, that's not important right now. What is important is whether or not Genji will feel any hostility toward you. With Cupid's words in mind, you build up the courage to approach Genji. Here we go. Here we go, team. We're doing it. Yay! Um, excuse me? The ninja turns to face you. The purple glow of the club's neon lights illuminates his metal mask. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I just saw you, and I wanted to say... Your heart starts to pound in your ears, and your mouth can't find the words to speak. Well... Say something, and remember, your choices will affect how he feels about you. Oh, save scum! We're save scumming! <laughs> We're save scumming! <laughs> I really like your outfit. I saw you when I came in and just figured I would come say hello. Do you need healing? <laughs> I really like your outfit. I mean, we're, we're going to play this. I'm going to go and try and see if we can go for, like, the, 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 ro the romance options. I really want to press D and D. <laughs> I really like your outfit. I really like your outfit. Oh. Oh, thanks. Not many people compliment my clothes. Because he looks ridiculous. <laughs> No, I really like them. So few people have RGB built into their outfits. It's unique. Yeah, they do look pretty sick, huh? Anyway, I don't think I've seen you around before. I'm Genji. What's your name? Oh, I'm Hammy. Nice to meet you, Genji. Hammy, huh? That's a cool name. Reminds me of Hammy from the game Hammy's Odyssey. <laughs> Is that a real game? I love that game! I love that game. My parents are actually such big fans. They name me after it. <laughs> I've been playing since I was born. <laughs> That's amazing. I was just named after the 11th century work, The Tale of Genji, which is all right, but certainly no Hammy's Odyssey. <laughs> I still think it's pretty cool. Thanks. Hey, did you want to sit down? The next set is starting soon. Maybe we could watch together. Oh, it's happening. You take a seat next to Genji and watch a few sets. You can't tell if he ever cracks a smile, but he certainly doesn't laugh at any point. Weird energy to bring to a comedy club. But before you can spend too many minutes basking in the awkward silence, Cupid returns, bringing you more helpful advice. 
Well, what are you waiting for? Show him you can be exciting. Go perform a set. Oh. <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> I have a few jokes. Not for free. <laughs> They're built in, built in the content creator's option when it comes to brand deals. Not for free. <laughs> I have a few jokes, but they're not ready yet. Okay, here I go. We're doing it. Okay, here I go. Love favors the bold, Hammy. I salute you. Hey. The previous comedian steps down from the stage to some poultry claps. And when no one stands to take their place, you take the initiative to get on stage. Swallowing your nerves, you address the audience. Is this thing on? Hello everyone, I would be honoured to share a joke with you fine people. You look out over the audience and you see Genji looking back at you with what you assume is curiosity. While you could make just any joke, you have to wonder what would make him laugh. Tell a joke about ninjas, tell, about, tell the funniest joke you know, what would Genji laugh at? Genji like a good ninja joke? Like a good cyborg. Well, he's not a massive... He's not... He didn't used to be too happy about cyborgs. He'd probably like a good ninja joke. To the funniest joke you know. Do you know what? I'm going to tell the funniest joke I know. Oh! Oh, it's got static inbuilt. You tap on the mic and the feedback rings in your ears. You lean in close. Why did the building get arrested for vandalism? The crowd is silent. It was a skyscraper! <laughs> After a pregnant pause, the crowd erupts into wailing laughter. <laughs> you told what is truly the funniest joke of all time. You are a living legend. Everyone will remember you as the genius who reinvented the art of comedy. <laughs> oh, thank you, fans. I'm here all week. But, among the crowd, one person hasn't been stricken with agonising amusement. It's Genji. He remains just as still as you left him when you came up on stage. After signing autographs for the whole club, you return to your seat next to Genji. What did you think of my joke? So, what did you think of my joke? Did you like it? Oh, no. Yeah, it was pretty funny, I suppose. Oh, Genji doesn't like the funniest joke we know. Oh. As he says this, you're watching someone being rolled out of the club in a stretcher, quite literally dying from laughter. <laughs> but I think there were other jokes you could have told. Maybe ones related to me that would have made me laugh harder. Oh, okay, we, we broke the rule. They, uh, they, would have, they would have been good. You wanted me a joke about you? Oh, so you wanted me to make a joke about you? Maybe we can save this in front of the whole club. Of course! Maybe a long time ago, I would have been too insecure in myself to take a joke. But now I'm happy with who I am, even when people poke fun at me. I mean, true. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we misread Genji there. But I guess you couldn't have known that. <laughs> we just met, didn't we? Oh, I feel terrible. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Okay. Oh. Maybe on our second date, you could learn more about me. Oh, wow, this was a date. Absolutely. Oh, he's asking us out again. Oh. I mean, we got a second date. That sounds wonderful, Genji. Genji sighs. Oh wait, leaves his soldiers. I can't wait. Guess I'll see you again soon. He leaves and you're left alone in the comedy club. Not for long, though. Miss Cupid soon reappears. Hmm, I sense the buds of romance are already beginning to blossom. How do you think things went? He seemed pleased, but there is always room for improvement. I recommend doing your best to ensure he feels comfortable with you. But, good or bad, your date is in the past and we still have a long road ahead of us if you truly wish for Genji's heart to be yours. Oh. When Genji reaches out to you again, he's just grabbing dinner for your second date. He even picks out a restaurant, Cafe Azur in Monaco, the exclusive playground of the ultra, ultra rich. Oh. Luckily, you live in the hopeful future. You can just hop on a transatlantic train and arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Neat, huh? Oh, that's good. Very convenient. You arrive at the restaurant, and it looks as classy as the name might imply. A robot brings you to your table, where Genji awaits you. Oh! Please, tell me he's not wearing the same hoodie he wore to the comedy club. 
<laughs> Hands are getting judgmental on fashion. Uh, I'm not exactly dressed up. I mean, I'm not. Look, I'm here in a jeans and t-shirt. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not exactly dressed up either. It's okay. I'm not really dressed up either. So I, I guess we match. Uh, I suppose that is a favourable sign. Oh, Hammy! I didn't expect to see you here. You invited me here for a date. Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> anyway, how's the ride over? Um, I had lots of time for gaming. Yep, gamer. It was great. I had a ton of time to grind XP in Vivi's Adventure Online. Oh, Vivi's Adventure Online. That game's pretty fun. Even though I think the Vivi's Adventure franchise fell off a bit after Vivi 3D. <laughs> right? Don't get me started on Vivi Party Dance Night. Talk about selling out. Editor's note, we're begging you not to add these to the Overwatch fan wikis. They're not real. Quick! Quick! Quick community! <laughs> to the wiki! To the wiki! <laughs> Go, you know what you must do. You know what you must do. I'm tempted to do it myself. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad you could make it. I've been really looking forward to spending more time with you. You don't have much time to feel bashful before the waitron returns to your table to take your order. You look over your holo menu, which is like a regular menu, but a hologram, since it's the future. Mm, good stuff. Never would have guessed. You should think carefully about what you order. Maybe choose something he'd like as well. Mmm, come on, even your dinner is going to affect this guy's opinion of you. These dating sims are hard work. <sighs> yeah, tell me about it. In that case, what will you order for dinner? <sighs> I want Genji's favourite food. Like... The kids menu. The most expensive. I think Genji. Let us just go Genji's favorite fruit. This feels the obvious one. The Rikmaru Ramen. Yes. Excellent. We know he likes Rikmaru Ramen. Oh. Oh. We got hearts. That's my favorite food. How did you know? Easy. It's in the official Overwatch cookbook. I mean it probably is. Also well done on the, the nice solid merchandise reference there. Narrative team. Wow. In that case I'll take the Rikmaru Ramen too. I actually have a Rick, Rikimaru ramen like bubble set that um, Blizzard sent me a, a time ago, as well as some other stuff. Very cool, very cool. The Waitron's, we don't have that on the menu program, seems to be overridden by its the customer is always right subroutine, and so it takes your order back to the kitchen without complaint. Oh, that's really cool of you to order my favourite food for dinner. If there were an official hammy cookbook, I would have ordered yours too. <laughs> well, give it time, give it time, give it time. Who knows? Maybe this is a... You make a note of his idea. You're always looking for more merchandising opportunities. That's a great idea, Genji. You know what? If this YouTube channel blows up again, if, if we're still here, if we, we do more, then yep, the Hammy Cookbook will be a thing. Love it. Oh, the two of you spend some time chatting. And after a few short minutes, the Waitron brings out your meal. Two bowls of Rikimaru ramen. It's honestly impressive that such a nice restaurant could make a dish look like it comes from cheap ramen shop. This looks just as good as the real thing from Hanamura. All it's missing is the Murloc Bowl. Then it'd be perfect. Oh no, how could they forget the Murloc Bowl? That's half the fun of Rikimaru Ramen. Oh, let me go check in with the waiter. Maybe they have Murloc Bowls in the back. You fetch the Waitron, explaining that Rikimaru Ramen just isn't the same when it's not in branded bowls. <laughs> Unfortunately, the restaurant doesn't have any Murloc bowls on hand, but they are able to draw a crude recreation on two of the regular bowls. When you return to the table, Genji looks completely deflated. You sit across from him and he barely even acknowledges your presence. Even Cupid seems troubled by his sudden shift in mood. Perhaps you should check on him, Hammy. Hey, is everything okay? You seem bummed out. Genji shrugs. Sorry, another diner recognized me while you were gone. They came over to talk to me. Oh, did they ask for your autograph or something? No, they actually recognized me from the Blackwatch incident. <gasps> they had less than kind words to share with me. Oh. Um, Shake it off, man. We're on a date. Oh, I'm so sorry, Genji. I 
can't believe someone would give you trouble about it here. It's all right. I'm not proud of who I was then, but I will admit it is discouraging. I've tried my best to become a better person, but I fear my past will always haunt me. Some days it feels like there is nothing I can do to move on from who I was. He sighs, propping his head against his hand dejectedly. It's a heart-rendering sight. It seems he could use your reassurance. A small gesture might go a long way. Apparently, even Cupid has the sense to put aside his bitterness towards Genji when he's in this state. What do you do to cheer Genji up? Um, reassure him, hold his hand, beat up whoever was mean to him. I'll reassure him. Hey, I know you've been working hard to be a better person, and I know that you've come a long way from who you were before. So, don't let anyone else get to you. As long as you know you're getting better, who cares what anyone else thinks? Oh, Genji seems touched by your words. Sure, maybe you plagiarise them from the back of a self-help book, but he's not your high school English teacher, so it's enough to get him smiling again. I suppose that's true. Although, even if I don't care what they think... I still care what you think, Kami, so thank you. Of course, Genji, any time. Let's eat, huh? Our food is getting cold. The two of you finally enjoy your night, as it was supposed to go. You don't know how Genji eats with his mask on, but every time you look away, more food disappears from his plate. You assume it's getting into his mouth in one way or another. By the time you're done eating, Genji seems happier than ever. You're glad the evening is going in a more positive direction. Hey, I wanted to ask you about something. Shoot. How would you feel about going somewhere special for our next date? Anywhere that's special to you is special to me. Whoa, we got the smooth lines. Sure, anywhere that's special to you is special to me. That one doesn't earn you any points with Genji, but it makes him blush. And isn't that worth more than any kind of game belay progression? Oh no, no progression. Numbers must go up. <laughs> I was hoping we could go somewhere that's really special to me. How would you feel about a trip to Nepal? Um, what's in Nepal? We're traveling an awful lot. What's in Nepal? When do I get to choose our date? Oh, okay. What's in Nepal? What's so special about Nepal? It was a very important place in my growth as a person. This may surprise you, but an isolated mountaintop helped me find peace. <laughs> There's more to it, obviously, but I figured I could explain when we got there. Sure, I can't wait to hear all about your backstory. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. I hope it'll be really special. I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks again, Hammy. Genji departs from the restaurant, and you're left alone. Well, as alone as you can be when you're haunted by the vessel of Valentine's. <laughs> Another date down with a third to come? Most impressive, Hammy. Thanks. How do you think Genji and I are doing? He seems incredibly happy with you. Not to tempt fate, but I suspect it would be difficult for you to lose his affection now. Oh, progression. But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can do to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. Oh, final date time. The third date awaits. Let's go. You ascend the snowy mountains in Nepal, and the cold rudely seeps right through every layer of clothing you wore. Hard to believe that just a few days ago you were telling jokes in a comedy club, and now this is what's expected of you to keep this relationship going? As you're trudging along, Cupid appears again. Thankfully, you know his deal by now. Or, you'd think you were seeing things thanks to the hypothermia. Hammy, I need to stress how important this date will be. Clearly, you are important to Genji. He would not have brought you here otherwise. So just be sure you do your very best this time. Thanks for all the help, Cupid. It means a lot. Of course, even if you and Genji are difficult at times, it is my privilege to assist you on the path of love. But perhaps I should be thanking you. Whether or not Genji's heart will be yours in the end, your devotion to love is inspiring. It has been a pleasure to accompany you. 
Aw, oh, Cupid, you're sounding all sappy. Don't tell me this is a teaser for the secret Cupid path of this dating sim. Don't be ridiculous. If there were a secret Cupid path, do you truly think I would broadcast it so freely? I mean, I think... I think... Yes. Besides, a path of that nature would be difficult to unlock. You would need to say, successfully win the heart of both heroes to show me your commitment to love. There we go, there's the secret ending. Hypothetically speaking, of course. There we go, we found the secret ending. Of course, hypothetically. But enough of this, it's time for your final date to truly begin. With Cupid's vote of confidence, you continue your journey up the mountain. Eventually, you arrive in a quaint little village. Genji is there to greet you. Honestly, you don't understand why you can't travel together. Hammy, you made it. What did you think of the hike? Um, it really wasn't worth it. It was, it was worth it to be here with you. It was a breeze. It was a breeze. Oh, it was a breeze. I climb mountains all the time. No big deal. Oh, you climb a lot. I appreciate that. Ninjas are actually big into climbing, apparently. <laughs> so it's good to know you can keep up. Anyway, I'm glad you're finally here. This place is very special to me, and I hope I can show you why. Come for a walk with me? Gladly, you take Genji's arm. He leads you all around the village, and you can't help but bask in every sight. It's truly beautiful. Certainly not the kind of place you'd want to host 5v5 King of the Hill style combat. <laughs> But what's more beautiful than the village itself is the way Genji glows while taking you through it, recounting memories of the time he spent here. He tells you everything, from the story of how he first arrived here to tales of his most trying meditations. After strolling a while, Genji takes you to the old accommodations that housed him through his time in Nepal. Though he has been absent for some time, the room is still clearly his. There's an old mattress, a hayori, and... A framed photo of Genji with his brother, taken years ago. Genji goes to say something, but someone else speaks first. Genji, you've arrived. Is that? Oh, it's Zenyatta. I hope you had a safe journey, my student. It's Zenyatta. How sad is it that the only place you can get Zenyatta content these days is the explicitly non-canon dating sim and that one short story? <laughs> oh, so meta. Well, maybe something will happen with that Ramacha guy soon. Who knows? So good. Master, it is good to see you again. Indeed. I heard that you were bringing a visitor, and I hoped I could meet them. Of course. Hami, this is my master, Zenyatta. You were ready for a trek through the snow-covered mountains, but this is basically like meeting Genji's parent. Is that weird for a third date? Doesn't matter, it's happening. Now it's up to you to deal with it. Um, give him a fist bump. Like, we know Zen likes a fist bump. You reach your closed fist out to the metal monk, and to your utmost surprise, he hits you with the sickest fist bump you've ever experienced. Absolutely radical. He's got an emote with a fist bump on. We know it. Law, a pleasure, Hammy. I'm glad to see you survived your journey here. You're going to ignore the threatening aura of that sentence and let him keep talking. It is rare for Genji to have company here. I sense he must be quite fond of you. Oh, I certainly hope so. Master, you're embarrassing me. I'm sure your companionship will mean a great deal to him. He has always struggled to accept himself. Perhaps the acceptance of another will help him along his path. You never realised how much your company might mean to Genji. To think, just a few nights ago, you were planning to enjoy the comedy stylings of literally anyone in New York City by yourself. Now, it's entirely possible you're changing the life of an Overwatch agent. <laughs> I believe... Master? I sense I have surpassed my annual screen time allotment. I'm afraid I will need to depart. <laughs> but please, take my greatest blessings and enjoy the remainder of your time here. The two of you say goodbye to Master Zenyatta, and when you're left alone, Genji's previous exuberance is gone, replaced with contemplation. Something on your mind, Genji? Just... 
thinking about what my master said. He was being truthful, you know. Spending time with you has done a lot to help my own sense of self. But I have to wonder. Hammy, do you really think it's possible to know your true self? Wow, to be honest, there's a far deeper question than you ever would have expected from the silly dating sim you signed up for. But you've come this far, right? What's the harm in one more question? And that really is one more. I believe this will be your last chance to win Genji's heart. Use it wisely. Well, what do you think? Can one know their true self? Um... Um, I'm not sure, but you can try. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you can or maybe not, but I think it's always worth it to try finding out who you really are. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? I think you might be right. You know, when I ended up like this, when my brother... He trails off. Cupid watches him intently, his brow knit with pain. I felt so much guilt... I would look at myself every day and despise the person who looked back at me. But, as much as it hurt, I had to look or else I could not have grown from who I was. Perhaps I will never know my true self, but you're right. I must always try to see who I really am. Thank you, Hammy. I'm glad to know you feel the same. Hammy, I have really enjoyed spending so much time with you lately. It has been a long time since I allowed myself to get close to anyone. But, I must admit... Admit what, Genji? Well, here we go! I feel some guilt that you have not seen the real me. You're a bit confused. You're pretty sure you've just enjoyed three dates with the real him, but before you can ask, he clarifies. We've been spending so much time together, and you've only seen me with my mask on! Oh! And although my mask is extremely epic, it's not the real me. It is really cool, though. I know, right? But still. Genji takes your hands into his. His green visor stares back at you, and you wonder what his eyes might look like beneath it. Hammy, can I show you who I really am? Oh, except Genji's love, except Genji's friendship. Except Genji's love. There we go. We're doing it. Of course. I love you, Genji. Genji puts his hand over his heart, shocked but not at all disappointed in your confession. After returning to reality, he chuckles under his breath. It's funny. It seems I could deflect anything. But love. <laughs> and beams. But mostly love. Yeah, but mostly love. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, very oh, oh, he's taken off his helmet. With great hair care, Genji reaches for his mask. Though he hesitates, he eventually builds the strength to remove it, showing you his true face beneath. Genji, you're beautiful. If you believe so, then it must be true. It must be true. It took me so long to come to terms with who I am now. Knowing you accept me makes me confident it was worth it time. I know my true self loves you too, Hammy. You have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with Genji forever and always. Love is the new meta. <laughs> well, there we go. That's the end. So that's the, the Genji path. Of course, there are other options, loads of other dialogue we could see. Um, so I'm going to have to do some more playthroughs. But thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this, for a like, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this. This was fun. So I will do the Mercy path as well. You can have a look on this channel for the video for that too as well. I'll link it in the description stuff below. And yeah, do let me know what you think of this. Um, it's new for Overwatch. Uh, it's a bit of fun. It's non-canon. And I love that it's not taking itself too seriously. So uh, whatever you're up to over the next Next couple of days i hope you can have some fun with this uh, little adventure in the overwatch universe and of course there are rewards remember you can get titles you can um you can get an emote as well uh, so there's in-game reasons for you to do in-game reasons for you to do this make a battle.net account or you log in with your battle.net account before you play this uh, to make sure that the progress saves as well uh, cheers for tuning in do cheers for tuning in do throw a like and subscribe check out all of my playlists here for all of my other overwatch lore and other content love to see what you think cheers for tuning in i've been hammy